Turning to economic news from Washington, short-term Treasury bill rates are rising, and Ken Pruitt has that story and more. Good morning. Short-term interest rates are up to the highest level in four and a half years. At the Monday Treasury auction, three-month bills went for an average discount rate of 9.1 percent. That's up from an even 9 percent last week and way up from five and three quarters percent a year ago. Six-month bills moved up to 9.12 from last week's 9.04 percent. They were below six percent a year ago. With interest rates moving higher, it's easy to see why the housing market is sagging. Sales of existing single-family homes went down 3.1 percent last month, following a 9.4 percent decline in January. With fixed rate mortgages going for 11 percent or higher in some parts of the country, lower income buyers are being squeezed out, leaving higher income buyers in the market. And that drove the median home price up $3,400 last month to $93,100. The stock market shrugged off higher T-bill yields. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained nearly 15 points, rising to 2257. But Europeans take Easter Monday off, and with no orders coming in across the Atlantic, volume Volume dried up to just 112,960,000 shares, the slowest day on the New York Stock Exchange this year. And that's the economy this morning. In overseas economic news, confident Japanese stock investors have handed the Tokyo market its largest one-day gain of the year. The Nikkei index rose nearly 794 points today. And overseas currency markets have reopened after the Easter Monday holiday, checking the foreign currency markets in London against Thursday's closings in New York. The dollar is up against the Japanese yen, the West German mark, the French franc, and the British pound. And that's the news, and now let's see what Joan and Spencer are up to. Well, we're cooking up some good weather here, Morton, in New York and the area around here, right? We're certainly trying.